Hi beautiful yogis, welcome to the very first yoga class on my new second channel. If you don't know yet, I have a main channel which I'll link down below, uh, but this channel will be all about my yoga classes, so welcome to the first video. Today's class is going to be a fiery and quick core flow for beginners, so when you're ready, come to lay down onto your mat. By the way, you won't need any props for today, just a mat or something comfortable to lay on. Come all the way down, bring the knees into your chest, firmly hug them in, give them a good squeeze in. And then as long as it feels good, you can gently sway from side to side with the hips, massaging the low back here. Take a moment to bring the awareness to your breath and gently start slowing down the breath. Another two deep breaths in and out here. I challenge you to try and keep your breath as smooth as possible throughout the whole sequence. Good, and then gently bring your feet down towards the floor. From here, see if you can walk the hips a little bit further away from you so that the low back is flat onto the floor. Bring the arms alongside the body with the palms facing up. And then from here, Bring your legs at a 90 de uh, degree angle so your feet will come off the floor. We're slowly going to start warming up the core here. So your next exhale, bring your knees over towards the right side, all the way down until they touch the floor. And then by using the core, pull the knees back up to center. So pull the core in. Notice how the rest of the body moves as you pull the core. And the exhale, bring the legs over towards the left side. Again, from the core, from your belly button, pull the legs back up. Should be quite hard. Exhale, back to the right. Inhale, pull. Exhale, left. Inhale, pull. One more on each side. Try as little as possible to use your arms here to pull yourself up. So the arms are just here to stabilize, but you're really using the core to pull the lower body back up to the center. Good. Hug your knees back into your chest. Give them a squeeze in. And then from here, fully extend the body. Bring the arms overhead. Just stretch your legs out forward towards the front of the mat. See if you can tuck your table and bringing the lower back onto the floor again. Take a nice deep breath in. On the exhale, come to half boat Ardha Navasana. So bring the arms forward. Peel the shoulders off of the floor. Keep your chin to your chest. And then lift your legs off of the floor. Really engage the inner thighs in towards one another. Belly is in. On your next exhale, come up to a Navasana boat pose. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, come halfway down. Half boat pose. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Come all the way back down to the floor, relax. Take a deep breath in. We'll do this a few times with the breath. On the exhale, come up to half boat pose. Ardha Navasana, deep breath in. Exhale, come up to boat pose. Feel free to take hold of the backs of the thighs if that makes it a little bit easier for you. And then on the next exhale, come back down. Inhale here and exhale down. Good, three more. Inhale here to relax. Exhale, come up, Ardha Navasana. Take a deep breath in, try to relax your shoulders. On the exhale, come up to boat pose, hug the knees in towards your chest, deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Good. You only have two more. Inhale to relax. Exhale, half boat pose, Ardha Navasana. Inhale here, hold. Exhale, boat pose. Again, maybe holding onto the thighs if that makes it a little bit easier. Deep breath in. Exhale down. Hold for a breath in. And exhale, release. Very last one here. Inhale, just fully relax. On the exhale, come up. Half boat pose. Inhale here. Exhale, Navasana. Inhale here. And then from here, just cross the lower legs, bring the hands out in front of you, and if you can, roll over your knees towards your tabletop. 
Make sure your hands uh, are right underneath your shoulders, knees are right underneath your wrists. And then from here, walk the hands forward, come towards your puppy pose, bring your forehead down onto the floor. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Make sure you press your palms firmly down into the floor. Lift the forearms away from your mat. See if you can spread your shoulder blades. So bring space in between your shoulder blades in. And press the backs of the thighs towards the wall behind you. You should feel like a gentle stretch for the front of the upper body, including your core. Your next inhale, look forward, walk the hands back towards you, come back to your tabletop. So all fours, hands are underneath your shoulders. And then from here, walk your hands one palm forward, tuck your toes under and come to your downward dog. Feel free to pedal the feet here, bring some movement into the body, especially if you haven't done any type of movement yet today. Good, and then gently come to stillness. Make sure you're pressing your chest back towards your knees, broaden your shoulder blades again, and then press the upper arms towards one another. From here, core is engaged, and then see if you can lift your right leg straight up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Keep your hips in line, so keep engaging the inner thighs to ensure that your right hip is not rolling up. So you don't wanna do this. You wanna keep the hips nicely squared to your mat. Take another deep breath in. On the exhale, bring the right knee to your chest. Roll forward, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. Keep your hips squared. Exhale, tiger curl. Really grip your fingertips into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, tiger curl. Good. Two more. Inhale. Really press your chest back. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, hold it here for two breaths. Really squeeze your knee in towards your chest. Keep gripping your fingertips into the floor, core is engaged. Last inhale. Exhale, see if you can step your foot down in between your hands. If that didn't work, just waddle your way forward. From here, firmly press through the back heel back, engage your core, come deep through the front knee, reach the arms up and come towards a high lunge. Good. Make sure your core is engaged, so bring the attention to your belly. Make sure that you pull the belly button in towards your spine and then very gently pull it up towards your heart. So it's an inward and an upward motion. Arms are extended overhead. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come halfway down. Come to about a 45 degree angle with the upper body. Keep engaging your core so you're pulling your belly away from the upper thigh here. Good, two more breaths. Make sure the muscles of your neck are relaxed and so maybe look down towards the front of your mat. Last inhale. On the exhale, come back up and open the arms up towards the right side of the mat. Open twist. Good, two more breaths. Imagine that you're pulling your heels towards one another so the feet are kind of magnetizing in towards each other. One more inhale, exhale, place your left hand down to the floor, right arm comes up, transition to a side plank. So come onto the outside edge of the back foot, step your front foot back, either have your feet in line or have the legs stacked onto one another. Good, a few breaths here. Make sure you have a lot of space in between the fingers of your left hand and you're gripping your fingertips into the floor. Press from the left armpit up. Last inhale, exhale, come to a plank. So roll over to the middle, two breaths here. And then roll over to the side, but as you do this, bring the right knee into your chest. Left arm comes up. Good, from here, extend your leg, bring your foot down to the floor, rest it down. This is option one. Option two, if you wanna take it a little bit further, lift your leg up towards the ceiling. A little trick here to help you is to plug your thigh bone into your hip socket as you lift this leg up. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Last inhale, exhale, come back to plank. Deep breath in, make sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists. From here on the exhale, shift the weight forward, come down onto the knees, and then come down as slow as you can towards the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale, baby cobra, 
just lift your chest and your shoulders. Keep the elbows close to the body and then press all 10 toes into the floor. From here, on your next inhale, press yourself up towards your downward dog. Good, feel free to pedal out the feet again. Take a moment to catch your breath. And then when you're ready, inhale, bring your left leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Again, make sure you're not rolling the left hip open. So don't do this. Engage the inner thighs towards one another to keep your hips parallel to the floor. Press your chest back towards your right leg. Press the upper arms together, and then again, spreading your shoulder blades. For your next exhale, left knee comes into chest, roll forward, tiger curl. Really press your fingertips into the floor. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three like a dog. Three more to go. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three like a dog. Two more. Really bring your knee in as much as you can into the chest. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Hold it here for two breaths. Try to bring the upper thigh in towards your chest here. Last inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Good, press the back heel back. Come deeper through the front knee. You wanna have almost a 90 degree angle here in your front leg. Engage your core, lift the arms overhead, and come to your high lunge. See if you can sink a little bit deeper into the front knee. Press your back heel back. Good, one more deep breath in. And then we come halfway down on the exhale. Again, creating about a 45 degree angle with the upper body. Keep pulling your thigh bone into the hip socket here. So left thigh bone into the left hip socket. Good. One more exhale. Inhale, come up, twist open towards the left side. So open the arms to the left. Keep your legs as they are. So the legs don't move, it's just the upper body that's twisting open towards the left. You should be shaking, very normal. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down onto the floor. Reach your left arm up. Come onto the outside edge of the back foot and then either have your feet in line or the legs together, coming to a side plank. Good. Two breaths. Again, make sure you spread the fingers of your right hand here. Grip your fingertips into the floor. On the exhale, come through the middle to your regular plank. Two breaths here. And from here, bring your left knee to your chest, roll over towards the left side, reach your right arm up. From here, extend your left leg to the side, either stay here or lift your left leg up away from the floor. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, come back to your plank. Inhale here. Exhale, shift the weight forward, bring your knees down as slowly as you can come down to the floor and keep your elbows close to the body. Press your palms into the floor. Good, untuck the toes. Inhale, baby cobra, just lifting the chest or full cobra by pressing into the hands. Keep pressing through all 10 toes. Exhale, downward dog. Again, feel free to pedal the feet, move with the body in any way that feels good to you. From here, walk the feet together. Big toes touching on the inhale, bend your knees, see so your hips back, look forward, walk, step, or jump towards the front of the mat. Bring your hips down to the floor and bring the legs out in front of you. So you wanna have your knees bent legs are together. Take hold of the back sides of the upper thighs here. Inhale, lengthen the chest. Press your shoulders back so that your chest opens up. And then again, bringing the awareness to your belly here. Make sure you pull the belly button in and gently up. This is called Uddiyana Bandha in yoga. From here, you keep your body as it is. So we're just going to start to lean back. So keep your spine as tall as you can. Lean back until your toes are coming off the floor and then extend your legs up so that they're creating a parallel line to the mat. Keep pressing your legs in towards each other. Shaking is very normal. <laughs> this is your option one in Navasana boat pose. Option two, 
extend the arms out to the side. Option three, extend the legs. Now make sure you can find a position that you can hold for a while. Good, two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, take hold of the thighs, roll all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest, hug them in. Good, again, maybe gently swaying from side to side. You guys have made it through the hard part of the class. We'll do one easy and quick stretch here to release some of that tension that we've built up in the core now. So from here, bring your feet down onto the floor. Again, maybe press your hips a little bit forward so that your low back is straight or flat to the floor. From here, walk your legs together. Walk your hips up a little bit towards the left side. Bring the knees all the way over to the right. And then extend the arms out sideways. Or if you don't have the space to fully extend, bring the arms at a 90 degree angle. And then as long as it feels good for your upper back and your neck, you can look over the left shoulder. If you want to take it deeper into the twist, all you do is bring your top leg underneath the bottom one. So you're crossing the upper thighs. Good. Feel free to close the eyes. We'll stay here for a few breaths. If you've lost touch or connection with your breath, now is the ideal opportunity to reconnect. See if you can use the breath to slow down your heart rate. Two more breaths on this side. On your next inhale, come back through the middle and cross your legs if they were crossed. Now walk your hips a little bit off towards the right side. Bring your knees all the way over towards the left. And on this time, look over the right shoulder. Again, if you want to go deeper into the spinal twist and it feels good to you, you can cross the upper thighs, bringing your right leg on top of the left one, or you're crossing the right leg under, sorry, under the left one. Again, a couple of nice deep breaths here. Bring the awareness to the muscles of your core. And allow those muscles to fully soften and relax. See if you're holding on to tension anywhere else in the body, maybe in the hips or the legs, shoulders, arms. Even check the muscles of your face. One last deep breath in and in out. From here, come back to the middle, hug your knees into your chest, give them a good squeeze in, take hold of the backs of the thighs, and then roll yourself back up towards your seated position. That was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very quick but fiery core practice. If there are any classes that you would like to see in the future, then please let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.